Okay, we have a 2001 F-250 that the heat is not getting hot on. Get in here, a little bit here. Um, and it's blowing, I've got it on the vents here. And it's blowing, it's blowing lukewarm. Temperature is up pretty good on the engine. And this is how I usually check these heaters. I'll get the engine up, the operating temperature, and I'll check the temperature. That's kind of, it's kind of warm. Let's see exactly what do we got here. About a hundred, something like that. Then I'll go over here and I'll move this to code. And I'm just making sure that door is moving that the blend door is moving the, moving the door over to code and it is it's really cool now so we can decrease what is about 90 move that back and i'm just checking that blend door make sure that blend door is working like it should and we're back to heat and temperature is coming up now so that's telling me the blend door is working, the blend door motor is working. And next thing I want to do. I'm gonna come out here, open the hood up, make sure your coolant level is is full. See these heater hoses here, it's going to this heater core gonna be kind of hard to see but they're up they're coming out of the firewall there and there'll be two hoses here's one of them that's going up to the firewall and then the other one is right back in here going to the intake what you'll do is you'll just grab one of them like this one right here is real hot and I'll grab the other one and feel the temperature of it. And it's just kind of lukewarm. So that heater core is clogged up, plugged up. It's not letting enough coolant through it to get the uh, heater core hot. Now you could try flushing it, back flushing it. I've had some luck doing that. Um, hit and miss sometimes it helps helps it sometimes it works sometimes it don't work it just stopped up too bad um you want to look at your coolant if the coolant looks rusty and dirty you need to get that flushed out also of the engine and the radiator but anyway that is uh we got a clogged up heater core that's what's going on with this one now luckily this is an f-250 F-250 Super Duty, 2001 model. We can get to the heater core through an access panel behind the glove box here. This access panel right here, it's got a series of bolts around it. Just remove them bolts, remove that cover, remove the two heater core hoses, and I'll show you how to do that. And we can do that now. If this is a now, if you have an F one fifty, not going to work. You got to pull the whole dash on a F one fifty from nineteen ninety seven and up. The whole dash has to be removed, and then the heater core comes up from the top here out of the case in the, on a F one fifty. So if it's a ninety six model or older, then it'll have this type type setup here on it now if you get into like the all the 80s model and stuff they'll still have a cover here it's going to be a little bit this different design but it's still base, base basically the same thing you can come through the stash opening glove box opening and get to it but on an f-250 from 2008 and up you would have to remove the dash but a 2007 year model and older, you can still come through here. Another thing to be aware of on these heater cores, not, either, not every heater core is uh, 
made like it should be. Um, first thing, you, you want to get make sure you get one with all this foam padding. It's all around it here. That way when you go back in the case with it, it'll all seal up real good on that case. If not, like that air is going to, if you don't have none of that on there, that air is going to bypass that, come around it. It's not going to perform very well. Um, the other thing that I've noticed that the heater cores, they started making these heater cores like a, like a um, universal type deal where they would only have like one size core, but they could come back and put any tubes they want, any bins on the tubes, and they could crimp them into these universal cores. When they do it, they put a crimp right here where these tubes go into the uh, core itself. I guess they put a seal in there. Well, I've seen them leak, go to leak it on them seals. So um, I wanna try to avoid them at all costs. Also, when you go, I have had them, when you go back to put the heater core in the case, that crimp will not allow that heater core to set in there uh, properly because it's got a big crimp on it so it won't let it seal up this core real good but I'll put a link to a heater core like, like this type down below in the in the description all right I got one of the hoses off now if you'll look up in here you'll see that heater cord tube sticking out right there well, that white retainer clip is still on there and there will be O-rings on there. There's usually two O-rings and a little spacer. So you want to make sure you pull them off. And they'll go back down inside this heater hose. But we need to get them off before we try to pull the heater core out. So it looks up like someone siliconed these back on at one time. It's got silicone all on it. I may end up breaking the clip of that one, getting it off. I got this one off, but it's been silicone too. So I'll probably have to replace these ends. I'll probably just cut the holes and then put new ends on it. But this is how it looks like it, if you had it, if it was hooked up to the core. You'll grab it, you'll twist it around, get it broke loose from the seal. See these tabs sticking out right here? Just get around it one finger like this. Kind of wiggle back and forth like this as you're pressing in on this one tab. Once you feel it released, then move to the other side and do the same thing. Once you get them released, you can wiggle it and pull it off. Okay, these are the new ends. This is the part number. This is a Dorman. Part number eight. 00-403 Just cut the old end off Put a clamp on it and put the new end on So go around this cover Find all these eight millimeter screws that attach it here on the top and on the sides And remove all them screws this is if on the older Fords they have a cable that runs up on top of this top side here. You it's got the cable type where the cable is driven by the by the selector knob, and you have to pop that cable loose from a clip. I've seen some where you had to unbolt this actuator here. Uh, I think I can clear it though without having to do that. Let me get these bolts out. Now that all the bolts are out of it, I'm just gonna grab it, just gonna pull it out here. Kinda lift up on it a little bit, release it from right, right here in this corner. Kinda lifts over this corner of this box. So you have to kinda lift it up over that. Just bring it out. That's basically all the cover is. There's the heater core. Okay, once I got the cover off, 
the heater core tubes that go up behind this this uh, little actuator motor right here I believe that is the blend door if I'm not mistaken yeah you know, I think that's the blend door actuator motor but anyway that is gonna have to be removed so we'll give them we'll give them uh, enough room to get these uh, tubes out so we'll just unplug it it's got a bolt right here but it, I think if we just get a screwdriver underneath this the white part either between the white part and the black part because it looks like that just clips onto the black part I'm just going to try to take the screwdriver and pry this just prying a little motor the white part of the motor off of the black housing there grab it pull it out and then we can take this the black part here off take a bolt right there eight millimeter and then there'll be I think I'm feeling two or three of them on top I think there's three of them on top so this is that little housing piece right here that's that's where the screws are on top Got one there and there and then one down here and then that one in front and um, now we should be able to bring that out I need to get my tubes clear come out farther there we go and I'm kind of hitting on that bracket on the top of the dash so. kind of <clears throat> fiddle around with it here till we get it bottom coming down first there we go now while you got this off make sure this blend door <clears throat> Make sure this window is working back in here. Of course, I'm going to turn the light out. Right back in here. You'll, you can move it around. Make sure there's no debris down in the bottom that's keeping it from opening and closing all the way. Anyway, that's basically it. Um, just go back together the way you came apart with it anyway this video helped you out at all please like and subscribe thanks for watching